Hi guys, my name is Joelle. Thanks for joining me today. What I've got for you is a 20 minute that 25 energizing minutes. morning flow. So of course you don't have to do this in the morning. You could do it any time of day. But the idea is, is that we're going to get the blood moving through the body, um, get some length through the spine and just really move and breathe in a way that wakes us up today. So let's get started. We'll come to standing at the top of the mat and we'll take the feet about hips width distance apart. Hands come along the side, standing into dasana here. So drawing the tailbone down toward the floor. We lift the collarbones. Either close down the eyes or just find a very steady gaze at a focus point called a drishti. And just keeping the gaze soft. Just take a breath in here through the nose. And out the mouth. Sigh it out. One more time, deep breath in. Side out. One more. On the inhale, arms sweep up. Hands come to touch and exhale to the heart center. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale. One more time, deep breath in. This time we'll turn to the right side. We'll reach the right arm back, left arm forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. So gently twisting as we breathe. Trying to keep the shoulders from creeping up toward the ears. Got one more. Inhale, back to center. Bend through the knees, start to fold forward all the way to the floor. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Let's lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, sweep the arms high. Inhale, up to the sky. Grabbing right hand below left wrist. Inhale, high. Exhale, reaching over. Feeling a nice stretch along the left side of the body. Drawing that shoulder away from the ear. Pressing into the left foot to get a bit more stretch and length through that side. Inhale. Switching sides, so grabbing below right wrist and reaching over to the left side. Gently pressing into right foot. Shoulder draws away from the ear. One more breath here. And release that. Hands come back. Reach high, exhale, bend, fold forward. Halfway lift, flatten the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping back. Let's find plank. So we'll switch on the core here. So we want to think of being really high on the balls of those feet. So really curling those toes, pressing the heels away. Think of this long line of energy through the entire body. One more breath here. On the inhale, we'll lift the foot. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and back down. Inhale, exhale. You've got this. <laughs> Keeping that core engaged through the whole movement. We've got one more each side. And last one. And downward facing dog. Exhale. Breathe it out. Finding your dog here. Maybe pedaling through the feet. Maybe coming high on the balls of the feet and then pressing the heels down. Just getting some nice movement here. Warming up your dog, whatever way you like. And then we will come to stillness. One breath here. And we'll roll into high plank. And pressing back, downward facing dog. From here, we'll come into child's pose. So sitting back toward the heels, toes come to touch. And we've got a little flow here. So you might wanna watch the first one. On the inhale, we'll come up and we'll find our gentle back bend here. Lifting the collarbones, shoulders draw away from the ears. From here, we start to come back through tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, and then pressing back into child's pose. We breathe in, and we sink the hips. 
exhale. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Child's pose. We've got one more like this. Inhale. Lift the collarbones. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And we'll come into child's pose. Nice work, everyone. Rolling back up into your high plank. We'll look to the top of the mat and step all the way up to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. And interlace the hands behind the back. Reach the palms overhead. Getting a nice stretch through those shoulders. Still working through the length and the hamstrings, drawing the crown of the head to the floor. And we'll release those hands to the floor. Bend into the left knee, place the left hand on the floor. Reach the arm to the sky. Inhale, start to straighten right leg. Exhale, fold forward. Bending into right knee, place right hand on the floor. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, switching sides, right arm to the sky. Breath in. And exhale, we've got one more. Left arm to the sky. Bending into that right knee. Exhale. Halfway lift, flatten the spine, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms to the sky, breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And we fold forward, Uttanasana, stepping back into plank. This time we shift the weight forward, we drop the knees to the floor and bend the elbows to lower the chest all the way down. We'll take the fingertips to the outer edges of the mat and we press into the tops of the feet. We inhale for cobra. Exhale. Inhale. And we've got one more here. Inhale. Exhale. Hands slide back along the body. Tuck the toes. Press up through plank if you are so inclined. <laughs> and downward facing dog. We'll lift the right leg all the way to the sky here. Inhale. Straight and strong, look between the hands and step that foot through. Untuck the back toes and we'll take hands to the knee. So right up on top of that thigh. And we get nice length through the torso and we sink the hips toward the floor to get a stretch right through the front of that left hip flexor. Nice work, guys. One more breath here. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms up all the way to the sky. And then from here, we're going to turn that left foot so that the shin is coming towards the long edge of your mat. And we're going to place the forearm on the right knee. Inhale, so you've got this modified side angle. Got a nice stretch happening here along the side body. One more breath. And then reaching that arm for the floor, we'll take the left hand to the floor and we'll rotate the foot. So now you can see my toes are facing the long edge of my mat. And I'm gonna reach my right arm over. So now I'm getting a stretch to that whole right side body. On the inhale, let's come back to side angle. So the toes turn towards the top edge of the mat. Inhale. And we'll exhale. Inhale, coming back and forth through this nice flow, and exhale. Moving with your breath, inhale, and exhale. We've got one more, inhale, and exhale. From here, we're going to lift that right leg, and maybe, if you can catch the foot, we'll take a quad stretch here, so pressing the knee outward, so getting a nice long line. So you press the knee away and feel a nice stretch through the whole quad, front of the hip. One more breath. Great work, we'll start to release that. Coming back up through our side angle and then reaching that left arm all the way to the floor, let's turn to the top of the mat. And this time we'll start to walk the hands back and flex through the front toes. We get a nice stretch through the hamstring here. And if you'd like, you can take the arms away from the floor, float them up. We'll inhale and exhale. So just moving between these two movements, 
stretching through the front of the hip and then getting into that hamstring. We've got one more. And exhale. Bending through that knee. Let's plant the hand. Inhale, sweep the arm high. Nice twist here. Pressing into that big toe of the front foot. Exhale, hand comes to the floor. We step back and find a vinyasa. So your vinyasa, you can drop the knees, or if you'd like, you can take full chaturanga. And then option to take cobra, or upward facing dog, where we lift the hips away from the floor. Just checking in and making sure that the shoulder is right above the wrist. And we wanna make sure that we are not pressing into that back, causing any pain. So if this causes any low back pain, just take a gentle cobra. And we meet in downward dog. Left leg lifts to the sky, inhale. Three-legged dog, look between the hands, step that foot up. Drop the back knee down and tuck the back toes. Hands come to the top of the thigh. Lift the collarbones, drawing the belly in. Then we start to sink the hips towards the floor. I feel a nice stretch through that right hip flexor this time. Great work. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, we know where we're going, so we're going to start to open up the hip and the toes face the top edge of the mat and we rotate this shin in and we go for side angle here so reaching that right arm all the way over getting nice length to the whole right side body one more breath and then inhale take that top arm all the way to the floor and we rotate that foot so now we have our toes facing the long edge of the mat and we can take a nice side stretch here. And we know that we're going to move through this a few times with the breath. So we'll inhale, toes rotate to the front, side angle. Exhale. Nice stretch through the side body. Inhale. You've got this. And exhale. Inhale, side angle. Exhale. And we'll stay here. And if you have the inclination, we'll reach that hand back, grabbing the top of the foot and gently pressing that hip forward, getting a nice stretch through the entire quad. Lifting the chest, keeping the gaze soft to the floor if you like, or you can gaze up at the sky. One more breath. And we'll release that all the way down. Let's come back up into side angle. And then we're going to turn to the top edge of the mat and take that hamstring stretch. So readjust the position, flex through the foot, lift the collarbones, spine is long. Option to lift the hands away from the floor, really switching on the core. And then we'll inhale and exhale. Inhale, breathe in, lift the arms to the sky, exhale. We've got one more. Exhale, and let's rebend through that front knee, tuck the back toes, and a simple twist here. So really think of pressing the back of the thigh right up to the sky so you get lots of strength in that back leg. One more breath. Exhale, we'll plant that hand to the floor, stepping back and finding your vinyasa. So options for knees to drop, coming in to cobra, inhale, or taking your full Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog is where we meet. Great job, guys. We'll move right along. So inhale, sweep the leg high. Exhale, look between the hands, step all the way up. Back foot spins down 45 degrees. And here we are. We've got our warrior one. And on the next inhale, we'll open the arms and exhale, sitting into your warrior two. So pressing into the big toe of the front foot, gaze is soft over that middle finger. On the inhale, let's start to lift the hands toward the sky. Inhale, maybe lifting the front toes. Exhale, hands come to heart center, and then we press it out. Inhale, exhale, hands through heart center, pressing the energy away. Two more, inhale, exhale, one more time. Exhale. From here, we'll flip the palm, straighten through the leg, reverse your warrior. And we're going toward Trikonasana. So from this 
point you want to really sit those hips back so see how far you can go back and reach forward so once you've got to that point then we drop that right arm to the floor and left arm comes overhead there's a couple of options here with that left arm you could take it overhead and create a side stretch for the body or you can take it into a bind and reach for that thigh otherwise you can just keep the arm high and choosing where you want your gaze make sure you're pressing through the big toe of the front foot and really pressing into the outer edge of that back foot one more breath bending through that front knee inhale back up we'll find our warrior two from here we're going to spin left arm all the way to the floor and coming on to the ball of the back foot so just take a step in here reach the hands forward a couple of inches in front of that foot and we'll step off that back foot coming into a standing split one breath okay here's a little challenge for you we're going to bend into that standing leg with that knee we're going to gather the hands at heart center inhale all the way up knee comes to the chest you got it taking a moment here to find your balance and exhale for warrior three you probably know where we're going inhale hands come to heart center exhale warrior three and be playful with this it doesn't matter if you fall over wobbles are part of the joy so just have fun with it inhale Ooh. got one more here warrior three you've got this excellent and we'll take that foot all the way to the floor so feet coming to parallel you can come to a uh, hip width distance apart if you like and we're finding chair pose here so right away sitting in the chair and when we're in chair we want to put the weight into our heels so our weight is back and just check that you're not pelvic tilting backwards so you want to think of drawing the ribs to your lower hips so that creates uh, takes the pressure off the low back one more breath exhale fold forward walk those feet apart so they come to the outer edges of the mat you can turn the toes out slightly and then sit the hips down ah a moment here we're in our malasana or squat pose and we want to be upright with the spine so crown of the head reaches for the sky tailbone is reaching for the mat and we can rock side to side just getting some movement through those hips hands come to the floor on the inhale let's take a forward fold toes turn towards the top edge of the mat and then we'll exhale sitting into malasana inhale exhale one more time inhale and exhale from here let's plant the hands let's step back into plank and vinyasa We're going for the left leg to lift this time. Inhale. Look between the hands, step the foot up. Back foot spins 45 degrees. Make sure you've got strength in those legs before you add the arms coming up high. Inhale. Great work. Just taking a moment here to get the position of the legs. So pressing into the outer edge of the back foot. And think of gently drawing that right hip forward as you gently draw the left hip back. On the inhale, we'll open up and exhale into warrior two so this time the back foot spins parallel with the short edge of the mat we're sinking into that front knee just making sure it's tracking over the ankle and with the big toe gaze is soft on the inhale flip the palm and we'll start to bring the hands up together maybe lifting the front toes exhale push it out inhale exhale strong energy we've got one more inhale let's flip the palm reverse I can say that again let's flip the palm and reverse our warrior by straightening our front leg and then we'll reach forward as far as we can go reach 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 and coming all the way to the floor finding trikonasana so triangle pose and options with the arm bind 
and just check in with that foot. So it's easy to lock out that front knee. So you wanna make sure we keep a slight bend in that knee, especially if you have a tendency to overextend, hyperextend, and press into the big toe. And then we're strong on the outer edge of the back foot. You could also be in side angle here. One more breath. Rebend through that knee, inhale, coming up into your warrior two. And then we'll exhale, windmill that arm to the floor, step that back foot in a couple of inches, and then we'll take the hands in front of the front foot, a couple of inches, and then step off the back foot, finding standing splits. So in standing splits, we are drawing the crown of the head to the floor and trying to extend the right leg up to the sky, keeping the hips even. One more breath, you know where we're going. So let's have a sense of humor with this. Bend into the standing leg, draw the belly in, hands gather at the heart space, inhale, bring the knee all the way up, ooh, all the way up to the chest. Oh, I definitely thought I was gonna fall there. <laughs> and take a moment to find your balance. Inhale, breath in, exhale, finding warrior three. Inhale. Ooh. <laughs> One leg is always better than the other, right? Exhale. We've got two more. Inhale. And exhale. Warrior three. Last time. Breath in. And your final <laughs> warrior here. And bring it back up to heart center. And then we'll plant the foot on the floor. We're finding our chair here. Utkatasana. Chair pose. And make sure we're drawing those hip points up to the lower ribs. So we're not getting any pelvic tilt here. Reaching the hands forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. You've got this. We've got a couple more breaths in our chair. Really switching on those glutes. Drawing the shoulder blades away from the ears. One more breath. And exhale, fold forward. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Inhale, flat back. And start to walk the feet out. Coming again into our malasana. So this time, Malasana, hands come to heart center. I'll turn so you can see me. And we'll do a bit of opening through the shoulders and chest. So left arm comes out to the side and we'll reach the right arm to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Back to prayer. Inhale, right arm. Left arm reaches up. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale. And exhale. Last time. Breath in. Exhale. We are almost there. We're going to put the hands on the floor, forward fold for the last time, and step it back for your vinyasa. We meet in downward dog. Let's take a breath in through the nose. So let all the air out of the lungs. Inhale through the nose. Breathe it out. Open the mouth, inhale. <sighs> All right, bend those knees, come down to a seat. We have one last thing to do to really fire you up for the day. We're going to take Navasana, boat pose. So we'll start by sitting up tall, feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent. Drawing the belly in, we'll start to lean back so we're just sitting off of those sits bones. And then we can draw one foot up to the f at a time so that our legs become parallel. Maybe you're still using your hands around your thighs and that's okay, because it takes time to cultivate strength in the quads and in the core that's required for Navasana. So you could be here or you could be here. <laughs> so this is more challenging. In Navasana, we wanna make sure we're lifting through the chest. So make sure you're not collapsing. If we're here, we need to go back to hands behind the thighs and lift the chest and just think of gently drawing the shoulder blades together. You've got this. Wherever you are, I'm gonna hold this for three more breaths. And then you can either keep working on this position here, or we're gonna go into low boat, which is down here. <laughs> so staying right here, we're really hovering off the floor. So try not to put those heels down. Keep the gaze towards the toes. If you have any pain in the neck, go back to the other option. We're almost there got five, four, three, two, one, and release it all the way to the floor. Hands come wide, feet come wide. 
Great job, everyone. Take a couple of breaths here. Maybe draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Saying thank you, self, for starting my day this way or maybe finishing my day this way. For just taking some time for yourself. And just reminding your body and reminding yourself how good it feels to move like this. I invite you to stay for a few minutes if you'd like in your Shavasana. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.